Welcome to this week's Tech Rumor Roundup. And over the last few months, we've been talking about how AMD and NVIDIA are dropping prices on their current generation of graphics cards due to a lack of demand. And according to this article from WCCF Tech, we should see prices continue to drop going into September. So we know that AMD should be announcing their next generation of graphics cards and CPUs over the next couple of weeks. And Nvidia should be hopefully doing the same in the next couple of weeks or about a month as well. And with the news of the next gen of graphics cards from both of these companies, we're expecting prices to hopefully come down even more on the current generation. So due to the fact that you know they've already dropped prices and cards are still sitting around in inventory, Nvidia and AMD are both both looking to potentially work with AIB board partners and retailers in order to drop prices once again as we move into September. So for the most part, they're looking to just get rid of all of the old stock and get ready for this next gen launch with stocks or, or with shelves stocked with the new gen cards versus the old gen cards. And the only way to do that is to drop prices in order to get consumers to actually be wanting or willing to spend money on these older cards. And it gets even tougher as next generation gets closer and closer because everybody just wants to wait. Why are you going to go out two years later after the launch of RTX 3000 and RX 6000 when you could wait a couple more weeks and try to get a newer card? So if prices do continue to come down, expecting like an RTX 3090 to drop below $1,000, there could be some really, really nice deals out there for these graphics cards. And we're already starting to see this. I mean, RTX 3080s now can be had for MSRP. So you're looking at this RTX 3080 MSI edition on Amazon for MSRP of 699. Is it worth buying an RTX 3080 right now though? at $700 knowing that next gen is going to perform a lot a lot better maybe with a little bit less power efficiency but the performance per dollar should be a lot better moving forward and that is only confirmed with another article from WCCF Tech where we're looking at a GeForce RTX 4060 4060 Ti rumor that has it pegged at two and a half gigahertz and having the RTX 4060 Ti outperforming the 10 gig RTX 3080. So if we come down here, you can see 4060 Ti at around 270 to 280 watts, which is a very similar power consumption to an RTX 3080 and the 4060 at around 230 to 240 watts. So these lower end tiers are consuming a lot more power, not the best for your electricity bill, but in terms of performance, we're looking at a lot of improvement. So these are some of the rumors in terms of what we should expect in terms of both VRAM, CUDA cores, all of that moving forward with RTX 4000. And if we scroll down a little bit more, you can see these performance numbers. If we look at this chart with FP32 compute, you can see that the 30 or the 4060 Ti is outperforming the RTX 3080 by almost 3%. Uh, it's a little bit of a different story when it comes to 3D Mark Time Spy, where the 3080 does regain its crown with a score of 8909 and then 8600 for the 4060 Ti. But either way, a 4060 Ti almost beating or coming very close to a 3080 makes you wonder, should you spend $700 now on an RTX 3080 or kind of gamble a little bit and wait for 4000 series to come out? Now, it's pretty much going to be a similar situation as last generation's release where we should see stock sell out pretty much immediately for these cards, but I don't see the weight or the, the amount of delay and out of stock situation being the same as last year. Money is tighter this time around, just overall inflation is up. People have you know more pressing needs of purchases outside of a graphics card. And also there's just less of a reason. There's no lockdowns this time. Maybe less people are really looking to upgrade a PC. A lot of people upgraded when it came to RTX 3000. So are there really that many people in the market for a 4000 series card? Either way, I don't think it's going to be the same situation as last year, but it's still going to be hard to get your hands on an RTX 4060 Ti when it does eventually launch. And the launch of the 4060 Ti could be ways away because 
NVIDIA has announced kind of the scheme of going with releasing the 4090, then the 4080, then the 4070, and they keep going down the list, uh, going from high performance to low performance in terms of their releases. So we might see a 4090 at the end of this year, but we might not see a 4060 Ti until the beginning or middle of next year. So that's just something to keep in mind if you're looking at purchasing a new GPU. And there's definitely not only rumors on the GPU side of things, but there's also a lot on the CPU side with next gen Ryzen and next gen Intel CPUs set to hit the market pretty soon as well. And this rumor has the i7-13700 beating out an i9-12900K in single threaded performance. So when it comes to the i7-13700, non-K SKU, but it's going to be a improvement over last year by around 10%. But in the single threaded performance and pass mark, you can see it outperforming the 12900K by around 3.3% in single threaded performance. So this means that we're seeing at a lower wattage chip on kind of a lesser overclocked CPU, better performance than the peak that is currently out with the i9-12900K. But those are your key PC and tech rumors for this week. Be sure to tune in next Saturday for another rumor roundup.